everyone. It's um, me again, just giving you an update on where I am. It's actually six months to the day of my neck injury, more or less to the day anyways. And uh, I know my last update was probably about a month or two ago. And I just thought I'd give you another update on where things are with my neck. So uh, things are healing well, which is great. They continue to heal well. Uh, over time, I'm able to do more and more of my um, daily activities. Um, I, I'm still working, uh, still on the computer, getting less stiff and less pain in my neck now than I was even a month ago. So incrementally, I know that uh, things continue to heal. Um, there's less and less uh, soreness now, which is great. I still continue to do my physio and my regular neck exercises, and I'm back to driving relatively comfortably because I can actually uh, turn my head uh, much more now than I did even a month ago. So I worked my way up to that. I have to say I have been doing a lot of um, regular stretching of my neck to get those muscles back into shape. I don't have as much soreness um, on the side that I injured, but um, <clears throat> occasionally if I overdo things, I do get um, a little bit of soreness in my neck, and that's when I usually take a break and just um, put some heat on and give myself a bit of a rest. Uh, and especially too from uh, the computer work, if I have um, a week where I'm really uh, pushing things in terms of getting uh, stuff done on the computer and I'm not taking regular breaks or doing my regular exercises, I, I generally pay for that at the end of the week and I end up, at least on the weekends, <clears throat> lying on my bed with my um, heating pad and just giving my neck a break. So it's important uh, for those of you in this situation when you get to the point and you're overdoing it and your neck is really sore, give it a break. Heat really helps. Um, I don't know what I would do without heat and regular stretching as well. So my range of motion is not back to where it was, but it's getting a lot better and the physio is really helping. I, I'm not going to the physio um, every week anymore. It's every couple of weeks. Um, and also I do um, quite a few yoga stretches, but all in all, while I'm still not back up to 100%, uh, I know I'm heading there. I see the uh, neurosurgeon in another two months. So again, six months, that would be at the eight month mark. And I'll let you know how that goes and how the x-ray looks. But um, obviously things are healing. And I think a lot of um, the discomfort that I experience is because as things are healing inside um my neck around the C1 and C2 area, as uh, everything's healing inside, it's tight. And that's where um, I'm getting the the pull and sometimes the discomfort, especially if I crane my neck a certain way. Uh, sleeping is much better, not 100% uh, back to normal because if I'm rolling over at night or turning my neck, I still have to be kind of careful lifting my head from the pillow and turning it the other way. And I certainly have never gone back to sleeping on my stomach, which is what I was doing before I had the accident. Now I have to sleep on my side or my back. And um, so uh, just lifting the head at night off the pillow can sometimes be a little bit uncomfortable. But all in all, uh, I'm doing well and things are, are progressing well. And I expect um, every day uh, things get a little bit better and better. I'm doing uh, a lot more cardio exercise than I was even a month ago, mostly because it's winter here, um, going on the elliptical or running in place. Um, I think that's really good for the neck and the physio said that's really good for the neck to get the blood flowing. And I can feel the difference since I've been doing that um, in my neck. It just feels like, Things are healing that much quicker. Doing a little bit of um, weights just to kind of help uh, stretch the shoulder muscles, which sort of connect to those neck muscles and increasing the flexibility. But all in all, uh, things are going well. And uh, just wanted to give you that update for those of you, again, who have been following me and who are in the situation where you've had a neck injury and uh, you've had to go through all of this. I hope all my videos help you to get through it and and know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel 
if you work hard and um, do your physio and your exercises, eat well, and hopefully um, rest and heal. So thanks everyone, and I'll connect uh, again once I've seen the neurosurgeon. Take care.